Okay, gang, read that quote right there. It says, I challenge you to ask yourself this question. Every night before bed, I think about the question. If I live every day the same way I did today, what kind of future would that create? It forces me to constantly evaluate whether or not my actions are lining up with my priorities. The future is shaped one day at a time, and it's never as far as away as we think. Co-founder, Jesse Lear, VIP Waste Services. Okay, what's going on here? Can you see me? No, oh, you're seeing my reflection. Oh, still getting used to this periscope thing, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Bob Christensen, Plan B developer here, uh, out on the patio again on this gorgeous day in North Carolina. Just went out and mowed the grass, got my nose, I, I got under the trees over here and trees snapped me in my nose. So, uh, anyway, what I want to talk to you about today, and I, my, my title there was Food for Thought. Well, I'm, I want to talk to you more about brain food. What is brain food? Brain food books, okay? This is one of my all-time favorites. You can see it's kind of old. It's it's yellowed. It's it's an old book. It's falling apart. A.L. Williams. All you can do is all you can do, but all you can do is enough. You should go watch this guy on YouTube and, and watch his speech. Uh, it's amazing. Blow your mind. Here's another book I just finished reading. Richest Man Who Ever Lived. Another book, Brian Tracy, Maximum Achievement. Here's another great book. You want to build a network? Building an Empire, Brian Carruthers. He's made $15 million in the industry. Here's a great book, Pitch Anything, Orrin Claff. Now why do I show you all this stuff? I could have showed you my garden and showed you my cucumbers and my tomatoes and squash and you know all the things growing that you can eat but that doesn't do much for your mind okay now I keep you know this is my brand as plan B developer I want everybody to have a plan B well if you're stuck in plan A which is usually you're just going to a job every day and you get up and you go home you go to work and you have your lunch and you have a break and you come home and you sit in front of the boob tube and and you don't do any of this you, you, you gotta feed your brain every single day okay I do read a book at least one a month if not one a week it'll change your life it'll change the way you think It'll give you more inspiration, more, more energy, uh, more motivation. The best time to read, too, by the way, is like right when you go to bed. Yeah, read for 15 minutes every night when you go to bed. Have a book by your nightstand on the side of your bed and read. And instead of going to bed after watching, you know, stupid crap with reality TV or the negative news, Put some positive into your brain, and you're going to wake up in the morning, and you're going to be amazed at what you can do and what you, how you think. You're going to start thinking different. Is it going to happen right away? Probably not. The first book I ever uh, read uh, as far as personal development goes, because when I, when I got out of high school, <laughs> and this is funny, the first book that it really moved me was mandatory reading in a class I had in high school. It was 1984 by George Orwell. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm 52 years old now, and that book is like come to life today. It's, it's scary. It's mind-blowing what's, what's going on in this world. There's surveillance everywhere you go. Cameras watching, listening. Everything you do is being uh, under surveillance. They're tracking everything you do. And if you don't believe me, well, then you're a little more naive than you need to be because it's happening. Um, so I read that book, and, and it was a great book, and I'm, I'm pretty amazed at, that's, 
coming to life right now. But when when I got out of the Marine Corps, and it was in a recession in 1987, there was not a lot going on. Uh, I, I I ran into some people that were in the networking industry, and you know they started telling me things that were contradictory to my brain the the thoughts that I had been implanted from other things that have been implanted in my mind okay thoughts are things and if you if you you get conditioned you know you you've been conditioned your whole life you've been taught everything you know now and everything you do has been taught to you how to walk how to eat how to talk Okay, you've been taught, you've been conditioned from a little child how to grow up. You should grow up, get good grades so you can get a, a good job. You know, well, you got to go to college, I guess, is what they tell you you have to do. So you, you can get the good job with a good, you know, pension and benefits. Oh, yeah, don't forget those benefits. Uh, well, I'm sorry, people, but the industrial age is over. That plan, that model is obsolete today okay so what are you feeding your mind read these books you know re you can go on YouTube and listen to all kinds of motivational speakers it just doesn't do the same thing when you when you do it for yourself and and what's best is you know I could send you books for free but that wouldn't do you any good because you have no vested interest in it what you need to do is go buy the books. Now you can buy them dirt cheap on Amazon. You can get, you know, new semi-used copies for a couple bucks. You don't have to pay full retail at, you know, Barnes and Noble or something. It's crazy. And uh, so it's cheap. It's cheap food for your brain. So, you know, that was my little spiel for today. I wanted to uh, uh, get on here I'm, I'm I'm trying to make this something I do every single day uh, get on Periscope and share information with people and I hope it betters your life it bettered my life oh I, I forgot to mention the book that I, I started in 1987 the magic of thinking big that that book just it totally changed my life because before that I didn't read any books you know, got out of high school and, you know, what do you read? Newspapers and magazines? You don't really read any books. And I don't read novels because I don't... That really doesn't do anything for me. It's all fantasy, most of it. Um, I, I purely put information in my mind that's going to help me grow and succeed in life. Novels aren't going to do anything for me for that, okay? So... And it, it won't for you either. I'm not saying it's wrong to read a good book, a good story, you know, Harry Potter, whatever you want to do. It, you go out and, and get away from it all, that's fine. But you still need to put in real brain food to change the way you think. Okay? Because in order to succeed in this world today, you can't keep doing the industrial age ideas that you've been taught. You need a plan B. Right? Right? You want some ideas? I've got like 10 internet businesses I build myself. That's why I'm sitting here on my patio. I'm, I'm sitting out here on my patio making money while I'm talking to you. I wake up every morning with more money in my bank account. And it's on autopilot. And I teach people how to do this. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm just an average guy. I'm, I'm no, you know... Robert Kiyosaki or Tony Robbins or uh, uh, I don't know I'm I'm nobody special but I take action and I improve every day I improve myself as best I can and this this periscope tool is really gonna be cool it it'll help you build a business like nobody's business uh, it'll it'll blow your mind I got business in over 40 countries all from the comfort of my home it's awesome. You can do it too. If you want some help, let me know. I, I don't charge anything, okay? 
bob at planbdeveloper.com is my email or you, you know you can look me up on facebook i'm plan b developer on twitter obviously uh i've got a plan b developer facebook page uh but my main business i'm building right now is wealth protection pros so i'm you know with all what's going on in the world this is a big reason why you need a plan b so you don't lose it all okay if you want to go check that page out go check that page out uh, but that's all I had to say today uh, you know food for thought the food is information to change your mind we all eat food and you know nutrition is important yes but you also need to feed your mind okay well, that's all I got for today folks have a fabulous day Bob plan B developers signing off <laughs>